Good afternoon, lads. This is Dean at Pleasure Angling. I promised a friend of mine on the kayak site I would show him what I make, how I would make my wishbone to go out in the kayak. I was a bit worried the way he was crimping it, and it would probably tangle. So I'll show you what I mean. So here we go. Then we've got a 60 pound body, trace line that is, followed by a size one swivel, diamond eye one side, which your line goes through. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Put back through the eye, wet it, tease it down nice and tight, give it a trim, take the tag end off. Right, there we go. So then what we want is get a bead, slide a bead on, doesn't matter what it is, size 4, followed by a size 4 swivel. Like so. Then another 4mm bead. Straight on. Right, and then what I do, I'm going to use a, as you can see, I'm going to use a Tronic stop knot. Size 4 L's. I like using these, and I'll show you why. Just put that on. Through the little metal eyelet that it shows. Hold it tight. Tease it up. Slide it onto the line, like so. Now, that's it. Now slide that up towards your swivel. Always leave a gap between the top and the bottom, like so, as you can see. Now, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a Tronix weight link on. These are size 4s. Put that onto the bottom. Go around like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I like to do five, some people do four. Wet it, tease it down. Normally what I do is I get a lead weight to pull that down. So you're struggling with your hands. So tease that down like so. Cut the tag end off again. A pair of clippers. Right, so there we have it. We've got the as you can see, we've got the tronics swivel there. Now the reason why I use these stops is if you get snagged or anything, you can move, you can never get the hook length the same length again. So what happens is you get a slide effect like that. So they're brilliant things to use instead of crimping. You're not damaging the line at all or anything, which is very important when you're casting for people who use crimps. Crimps are really outdated a bit now. Unless you're using a free hook flapper in a beach tournament, you know exactly where you want to put your hooks. So I've got that there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to follow that up with a hook length. Now, I'll show you what I'm going to do with a hook length. I'm going to cut a piece off about 18 inches straight onto the size 4 swivel. Same old thing. 1, 2, 3, 4. Turn it. Wet it. Tease it down. Like so. Trim it off again. Always trim your tag ends off. Nice and neat. Now, and on this end, I'm going to put a link. Now you'll see why. I'm going to put a weight link on the bottom of that hook link there, like so. Now, same old thing. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I'll explain to you afterwards why I've done that. So, tease that up like so, trim it off again. Now we're going to put that down for the minute, but just before I do put it down, remember let's just go through it again. What I've done, we've got a size 1 swivel at the top, we've gone to a 4mm bead, then a size 4 swivel, diamond eyed at one side, 4mm and then a tronic stop for our size, which you can move up and down. The purpose of that, yes I admit if you get a big fish it's going to slide, but then it will slide straight down to the bottom, so you'll end up with a bottom link, and then when you wind in, take the fish off, you can slide it back again. So, they're very effective. Down at the bottom is your standard weight link, and we've also put a 30 pound amnesia hook length on there, with a weight link on that end as well, so you can see that. So we'll put that down for a minute. Now, 
what we're going to do, we're going to go to the business end. Now, this is the bit that's going to become the wishbone. So, first of all, excuse me a minute, get a poly bead. These are Tronix poly beads. I sell all these. There's your poly bead. Now, let that run free. No crimping. Then, what you want to do is hold the line up either side with your fingers. And these are standard straws that the kiddies drink from, which obviously I've pre cut. So, get a couple of them, doesn't matter what colour. So, they're about an inch and a half. Slide one on one side, let it drop. Slide the other one on the other side, let it drop. So, you've now got two bits of straw, as you can see, two bits of straw there. jammed in between the pulley bead. Now what that does, it actually acts as a spreader. And you'll see what I mean soon. So what I do then, straight back to your Tronics. Straight back to your Tronics stops. Slide that through the eyelet, pull it over. Slide one on, like so. Straight over the top, there's one. Put one on the other side, like so, straight through the eyelet, like that. Slide this one on, like so. Now, where we kink that line there, I always like to cut them tags off. So we'll cut them off, because where it's kinked it could be... Right, so we've got that. So you can obviously make these a lot longer if you want to. And then, what I like to do is I put... One... Two... Two four mil beads. And then if you want to be really fancy... A very small attractor on that side, then another two beads one, two on that side, then a hook length. So let's put that one on there, like so. Just bear with me. One, two. Three, four, five. Back through your loop. Wet it. Tease it down. Tease it down on the eye, like so. Just wet this. My eyes are getting terrible. It's age, I think. So, you're wetting that. Tease that down. Trim it off. And on the other side, you want one, two, four mil beads, followed by another attractor, and then one. Two beads, followed by the hook. Then on again. Now these are only short hook lengths, by the way. You could make them longer if you wish, especially if you're out in the boat. It gets it away from the rig. Seize that down, like so. Trim it off. Now, this is what we're going to have. I don't know if you can see that. You've now got what they call a spread effect. Can you see that? You've got one hook this side and one hook that side, which actually shows the spreader. That should stop it tangling. 
But not only that, because you've only put stops on it, they, if you catch a fish, look, as you watch, if you catch a fish, you can pull the hook length up, as you see, look, and they will play against each other. Like, like a seesaw. See? One, two, one, two. And then when you wind back in, take the fish off, slide your stop back up to the top, and there you are again. You've got a perfect wishbone that acts as a spreader. Now, the reason why we've put that weight length on the other end is, as you will see now, you've got your top swivel down on your hook length there, like we said, with your weight attachment, and then all you do is just clip it straight in, like that. And that is it. That is now your rig. And then you just put your weight on, and that's it. You've got a perfect wishbone rig. So, good luck with that, lads. Tight lines. Bye for now.